So the first thing that I'm going to be doing will be opening my Smart Eye Designer application. So when you open your Smart Eye Designer, the first thing that you're going to be seeing will be the template wizard. And you have the option to enable or disable this. Um, you can uncheck it here on the bottom if you don't want to see this when you open Smart Eye Designer or you can just check it. I leave mine checked. So over here, um, you will see that you have an option to select a single side uh, landscape, a single side portrait, a dual side landscape, or dual side portrait. So what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to be selecting dual side for our training today. And then when you click next, you can see that there's a CR80 blank card over here. You also have an option for the max stripe card, a contact chip and then a contact less chip. Um, just for an example, if let's say you want to do a mag encoding and you have like a mag stripe cards, um, if you want to do that, you need to make sure that your printer has a capability to be able to do that. So for example, a mag stripe encoding, you need to make sure that your printer has a mag stripe encoder installed inside a printer because if you don't have it, then you wouldn't be able to encode your mag stripe cards. Um, but right now, what we're just going to be using is just a plain CR80 cards. And then I'm gonna click next and then over here there's like a pre-created design cards and here um, you can use this design as your guide but if you don't want to um, you can also use just a blank card so it means that you're gonna be starting from scratch when you design your template so there's nothing on the on the project at all so if I click next and I select the blank one it's going to ask me to put a project name. So what I'm going to put will be training 3. And then over here, it's going to show you like the project location. By default, it is always saved on your documents folder. And then like after you install Smart Eye Designer, um, you will have a Smart Eye Designer created on your documents folder. And all your projects are going to be saved over there by default. It also shows you like the encoding type, like if we selected like the mag stripe encoding, but uh, right now we selected none. It shows the printer type. If you selected like a single side or a dual sided, so we selected dual sided and it tells you the orientation of the card that we selected. So we selected a dual side portrait. And the template is empty because we are not using any of those pre-created templates. So now I'm going to select confirm. So over here you can see that your card is empty so we are going to be starting from scratch and the first thing we're going to be doing is adding a static field image on your card so just to let you know static field means like if you're creating a static field image on the card it means that picture is going to be showing up on every card so let's say you want to put like your company logo um, that can be a static field since if you only have like a one company logo it means you want that logo to show up on every employee ID so what you're gonna do will be select this image option here that has a balloon and then you will create a box over here and then you can select or you can look for your company logo so I'm gonna select this and then this logo over here is going to show up on every card on the left side of the card and let's say you want to put a uh, static text so static text is also going to be showing up on every card. So those fields means you cannot change those fields unless you change it from the home tab. So let's say I just want to put um, smart designer training. And then I click OK. I'm just going to drag it here. Make sure you select the box if you want to move it around the card. And then I'm just going to expand it so it can fit. There you go. If you select it here, um, you have an option here on top if you want it to be on the right, left, in the middle. I'm just going to put it on the middle. Alright, now let's say I want to make my text like a... 
a bold text. So over here on the corner where it says object properties, if you scroll down, you will see an option that says font. And there's going to be a three dots on the right corner. So you have to click it and make sure before clicking it, you select the text field that you want to change, like the size or the font style. Over here, I can make it into size 14. And then I, let's say I want to change the font style to bold. And if I click OK, it's going to make it bigger so I have to adjust it there you go now let's say for example I want to change the color like let's say I want this to be in red you gotta make sure that on the panel itself the panel is selected the color it means that right now when I select it it says black it means that it's just gonna print it on the black panel so even if I change the font color let's say we change it to red like this you will see like a grayscale over here because you have it selected on a black panel so you need to make sure on the object properties you select the right panel and then there you go now it's red same thing for the picture if you're just printing like a, a black picture if I change this to black everything's gonna be printed in black and if I want to do like a colored picture I need to make sure that on the object properties the panel is selected to color now let's say you want to create like a employee photo and then employee name so those kind of things changes for every employee so for example the employee photo it's probably gonna change for every person so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make uh, what you call uh, database field so over here you select the image again you make another box and then you click cancel because if you select any photo over here then it's going to be a static field so I'm just going to select the box and put it on the right side so what you're going to do is you're going to you can right click so you select an input field and then you can add a new field and then name your database input field so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put employee name here there you go employee and then let's say I want to make a uh, employee name over here on the bottom so you just right click on the box, select input field, add a new field, and just put employee name. And then if you notice right here, when I created the box, uh, there's like a red writings. It means that those are going to be your database field. So if I go onto my database tab, I just created uh, employee, just, which is the photo for every employee, and the employee name. So this is where you're going to put your employee name, let's say... Uh, you have like five employees you can put add and then you can select the image for your employee I'm just gonna do one more text field in here for your database for the position the other option to rename like your input field for the database is you go to option select input field and then you can name the field in here let's say you want to put position you just select the box and then select the word position you connect the field and now they're connected so if I close it you can see that there's a position writing over here which means that I just created a position database field on my database tab there you go and let's say at some point you want to rename the fields You close this, you go to your database, now it changed. And then on the field settings, if something is incorrect, you can just match it in here. This is going to be your employee photo, your employee name, and then your position. There you go. Now, let's say you want to add photo on your database. What you're going to do is on your database tab, you click add. Over here it says 
image you click on the three dots and you look for that employee photo and the employee name you can just type it let's say you want to name it Jane Doe and the position let's say receptionist you save and close and you can see the preview of, on, of the card on your right corner so you noticed over here that the IDP logo is also being seen on the preview so this logo right here is going to be showing up on every card so this two right here where it says smart ID I means smart designer training in the IDP logo you won't be able to change that unless you go back on your home tab and you change it from here and for example you want to add another employee just select on the three dots look for their photo put employee name let's say Jando is a tech save and close and then there you go there's the preview over here and let's say it's too small or it's too big um, you won't be able to do it over here on your database tab you have to go back on home if you ever want to configure something on your template if you want this to go lower you just have to drag the box make sure you select the box first and then you can drag it if you want to make the photo bigger so their face fits you can just select the box and then just drag the box on the size you want so if you go back on the database tab anything you do on the home if you go back to the database tab it, it gets updated automatically and then I go home and then and then make sure you click save it's just just this is just in case something happened um, when your smart ID crashes or let's say you had a something happened on your computer and your smart ID designer closed and you never click save it means when you open this file it's going to be an empty file which you never click save so just to be on the safe side I would prefer if you guys click save whenever you change something on your design so what I'm going to show you next will be importing like an excel file so if you already have an excel file created and then you just want to import your database on smart eye designer and create the the design part on smart eye designer you can also do that so the way to do it is first you create your excel file so i already created a training database over here so i'm just going to open it to show it to you guys before i actually import it so i have photos in here i have names i have position and then you can add uh, anything you want over here your date their age or um, like their address you can add it um, let's say I want to add Jane pen um, just to show you guys if you don't know how to add a photo on your Excel file you just right click and then you select link and then you select the photo you want to add let's say I want to select download 3 it's gonna be in here make sure you save it and if I go back to my smart ID the way to import the Excel file if you go to file you go to the database tab you go to Excel and then you select the Excel file now it's up to you guys wherever you save your Excel file. Maybe you save, saved it on your desktop or on your documents folder. Uh, mine, I just save it on my documents folder. So I'm going to select it. And then after that, it's going to ask you to match the fields. So over here, you can see your Smart ID database fields that you created. The employee name, position, employee photo. And over here will be your Excel fields. So what I did is I just have to match the name. So when, So whenever I have to match it on my smart eye designer um, I, I won't forget what's the name of the fields on my excel file so I will just match it with the employee name to the name field on my excel position and then photo so on the bottom you can see the preview in here that I have seven records and then on the bottom right corner you have the option to select import sorry you have to highlight it as well then you select import and it's going to ask you if you want to import the records and it's going to show you the total records that you're going to be importing on the database so just click OK then after that it's going to tell you that the import was success so now if I go to my database field um, you can see here that the files like the photo and the names on my Excel file was imported see here Jane Penn so these two files on top 
Uh, these are the ones we created a while ago, and then we added seven more people on the database. So if you ever add people on your database, so just remember to click save so that when you close it or if it accidentally crashes, um, any changes that you make get saved. So this is just an example. Let's say you printed a card. After printing a card, what's going to happen is this person right here is going to have like a yellow shade it means that the card has been printed so you can see on your database which one on the record is not been printed yet and let's say let's say you printed this card already so after you printed the card you're gonna get like a yellow shade on the card that you printed let's say the employee lost their card and you want to reprint the card you don't have to make a new field here and click add what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select the record and select unprinted and it's going to ask you do you want to reset the print status you can just select yes and then you will see that um, it gets unshaded it means that you can reprint the card again so just a reminder if that card is shaded yellow you won't be able to print it unless you mark it as unprinted now before printing a card um, I forgot to tell you this is you need to make sure that you have the like your preferences on the printer setup like if you go to file and then you go to print setup. I have a Smart 51 printer plugin right now. You need to go to properties. You go to printing. And if we're printing a dual side, and if your printer has a capability of printing dual side, then you can select both top and bottom. But if you have a dual side printer and you just want to print the top side, and you're not printing on the back side, you can just select top. But right now we're uh, printing top and bottom. So over here you can see the ribbon right now I have a YMC KOK ribbon installed on my printer and then the mode uh, this one right here that says partial or standard um, let's say if you have a monochrome ribbon um, I would say to use the partial option because um, that way it will save you more ribbon if you're using a monochrome ribbon and you have an option over here for color sense if you want the card to look warm neutral or, or cool you also have the option here for flip. You can flip the card vertical, horizontal, or 180 degree. And the media, this is like if you have a chip and you don't want to have an overlay on the card. And if you want to do a magnetic stripe, you have those options over here. So just always remember that before printing, um, you have to make sure you go to file and then print setup and then preferences. Because if you don't, you're probably going to get an error that sometimes you're probably going to see an error that says uh, a smart printer is not installed or it doesn't match the settings on the printer. That thing's going to pop up on your smart eye designer when you try to print and you did not check the settings. So just click OK here. Click OK. And then make sure those settings that you check on your smart eye designer, you check it over here on your devices and printers on your control panel. So I'm just going to verify. So I do have it set to top and bottom. My ribbon is YMCKO. And I'm printing color on the front side. So the printer setup is actually very important when printing from SmartID. Because if, for example, when something goes wrong, let's say when you're printing, it's let's say you get an error on your printer like a, like a data option error it means that the settings over here doesn't match the printer let's say you have a single side printer and you have it selected on both top and bottom it means you won't be able to print anything and, you're probably, and your printer is probably going to get an error because your printer does not have a capability of printing dual side So this is the front page and this is the back page. Um, if you ever want to print anything on the back page, you can always grab a picture over here. If you want to put another logo or another employee photo on the back side, you can do that. But it also depends on your ribbon. Um, if you have a dual side printer, um, make sure you use a YMCK over ribbon so you can print color on both sides. And then if I go on my database tab, 
if I exalt P1 back, this is what's going to be on my back side. Now, also, if you ever get an error on Smart Eye Designer, the other things that I would want you to check would be like the version of your Smart Eye Designer. So, if you click Help and you click About, it's going to tell you like the Smart Eye Designer version that you have. You just have to go to our website, which is idp-corp.com make sure you have like the latest version or else because if you have like an older version you're probably going to get an error or something goofy is going to happen in your smart eye designer so just make sure you have the latest version so you wouldn't get any goofy issue on your smart eye designer now um i do know that some people ask let's say i created this template so I'm just going to go on my documents, smart eye designer, and then go on my project folder. So over here you can see three files. So you have, if I right click on it, you see here this is a CSD file. It means this is your raw file. So the only thing you have on this file will probably be just your template without the database. So you guys need to understand which one you have to open. And the second one will be, it should be the CSV file. Uh, I mean the CSP file. So the CSP file, it will be the, your template where you can find the database. So if you open this folder, the first thing you have to open if you want to open your project will be this one right here. The CSP file. I'm going to show you why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post our design. And I'm going to show you the difference when I open it. Also, this one right here, you see the database files. This one contains all the individual cards, which is, for example, like the names or the photos. So let's say I, I want to open that project again. What I have to do would be opening my CSP file, this one. It means I have all my database record in here. If, if, if you open a project and you get a goofy error like this, what, you're, what you have to do is just go to File, Print Setup, where you see here Portrait or Landscape. You have to select Portrait, and then just click OK, and then there you go. I unplugged my printer, that's, that's why it's doing it. There you go. So th that's also one thing that you guys have to check. Make sure that your driver is co correctly installed on your machine or else you're gonna get like those goofy errors. Make sure your printer is also system ready. Because a, a while ago, um, I just unplugged my printer and that's why I get a landscape and a goofy error when I try to change it to portrait. So you see here when I open the CSP file and I go to the database, I can see my database here. But, but if I open this one right here, which is the CSD file, what I'm going to be seeing is just the raw file design. If I go to the database tab, it's going to ask me to create a new project because it doesn't not have my database at all. And this is just a raw template. I'm going to click cancel. I'm not going to do anything over here so I won't miss anything on the project. So other thing. Uh, actually additional info we also have like new templates on our website so over here if you go to idp-corp.com if you go to products and you select smart eye designer software and then over here where it says smart eye designer software again just click the plus sign and then car design templates you can actually download some templates that already been created or already been designed so you have the option here to do a portrait uh, this one is the actually the landscape design and this one over here in the bottom are the portrait design so this one over here are the ones you saw a while ago when i opened smart id and you saw the template wizard um, these are the one that's already built on in smart eye designer and if you want to try to use something else uh, we have some additional new templates in here let's say I'm gonna select one. Hang on a second. Let's say we wanna use this one visitor. 
So this is the preview of the card, so I'm just going to download it. And let's say I'm going to extract this on my documents folder. This one, this is called the visitor card. So I'm going to open the CSV file. I, I should have actually made a folder in here, but that's fine. But if you guys are going to do it, uh, make sure you create a folder. Here you go. So you can also use this new template as your guide if you don't want to start from scratch. So if I click on the database, it already has some samples. And if I just want to add my own picture, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my own logo. And then I'm just going to add like a text in here. There you go. If you see the IDP over here, it's, it's kind of small, but it's over here on the top left corner. And then when you try to close it, if you never saved it before, it's going to ask you if you want to save this project. So just click yes. So if you ever made any changes, the next time you open it, uh, any changes that you made is going to be there. So if I go back on my database tab, there you go. You can still see it here. And there are also uh, different templates in here, so it's up to you guys which one you want to use. So you have one here like for a university. For hotels so let's try to download this one and let's take a look at this template so I'm just gonna make a new folder in here there you go Alright, there it is. Now let's look at the database tab. So this is the preview on your database tab, so you can see all the records over here. Actually, I know some people would want to ask this question. Let's say you want to change the background color. You go over here on the option. Like the basic colors are over here, which is yellow. There you go. There was an image on top, so you couldn't see the background color. So if you want to change it to blue, you can change it to blue. If you want to change it to red, you can change it to red. If you go to the database file, anything you do on the home tab, anything you do on your template, it gets updated automatically in here. <laughs> 